If you want to use lateral and notion together, this is going to be a great video to show you how you can do this so that you can organize your snippets within notion. If you don't know about lateral, lateral is a way for you to be able to use AI to find themed snippets from research articles and be able to organize them in the way you want. There it will be a link in the description below to a video on a whole tutorial on how to use lateral where I actually created the lateral table that I'm going to work with today. So if you don't know how to use lateral, check out that video first and then come back to this one. So let's get started in how to actually use laterals snippets within Notion. So I'm going to go into this steroids and IM mobility table that I created before. And this just generally has some basics coming from each section of your research paper. So introduction, methods, results, summary, and future direction. So this is what I created in that tutorial before. And if you've never even gotten started with lateral, there will also be a link below for how to get started with lateral. So then what I'm gonna do is if I want to be able to use this within Notion, I'm going to export this table. And what I'm gonna export it as is a CSV file. So that is now exported. And so I'm going to open up my files. So here is the file that that downloaded. So what we can see is we have the document here. So that is, sometimes it is the title, but sometimes if we uploaded a document and we didn't have that as the title, for example, this one, it's not gonna be the title. So this is the actual document. If you have any document notes, they'll appear here. You have the concept that that snippet came from, the actual snippet, the page, and then any notes. So let me show you what that looks like. So if I click on a snippet that has a note, you're gonna see that right here, this is colored, and you can click add note here. And so you can add in your notes within here, and you, this is actually getting exported out correctly as well. And so that's what those notes are. So you can see you have those notes, and then you have the reference. And not all of these references are getting filled in correctly. For example, this one does not have the correct the correct reference within it that's actually getting exported out. But this is actually really nice because they have actually changed the way that they do these exports of the snippet. So it's so much easier, and this is why I've been waiting to create this video, is it's so much easier to actually upload and use within Notion now. So what we wanna do in here is we actually wanna edit this first because if we upload this directly into Notion, what is going to happen is that all of these are gonna appear untitled. And so the, each page is gonna just be an untitled card. And so what we wanna do is we wanna move whatever column we want the title to be of that card to the leftmost column. So in this case, I'm going to do the snippet, but if you had like specific notes that were titles, you could also do the notes column or you could create your own column as well. But I'm gonna move the snippet. So what I'm gonna do is click on it and I'm going to control X or cut it. And then right next to my document, I'm gonna right click and put insert and cut cells. So now it is over here. And then what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm just gonna save the name to make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna save it as steroids and ion mobility lateral snippets and click. So now we are all done with that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to my literature organization template. So if you don't know about this, how I organize things on Notion, I will leave a link down below that shows you how I do this, how this organization template works. It also works connecting into ResearchRabbit as well. That is the updated version of the template. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in a section here. So I'm going to add in text and I'm just gonna click enter and I want to create a heading that's going to be my lateral snippets. And then I'm just going to add in a new page here. And what I'm gonna do is import in that CSV that I just downloaded. And so I'm gonna click CSV and I'm gonna click the one I just saved. So this is what it looks like when it's all imported in. You have the snippets here and these are going to be your title. You have the document it came from, and this is a select version. 
the document notes the concept and what I do is I change this to a select and if you want to change the colors of these you can always come in here and make these different colors so that you can tell them a little bit better it just keeps them all the same color whenever it does this so you know you can have different colors in there the page that it comes from from that document keep that in here any notes and then that reference also comes in as a select so you can have the years here as well as a select so i'm going to add this in and i'm going to create a board view and then what i want is to group by not the document but at, not the snippet the concept and so what that allows me to do is actually view this table very similarly as I am viewing it in lateral, but I have a lot more options because I can include information within like the pages or add in new things, any of those things. So if I want to recreate this table completely, then what I would do is I would also subgroup by the document. So let's do that real quick. We are going to come up here and we are going to click this subgroup and we're gonna click it by the document. So now what we can see, if I can scroll over. So now what you can see is that we have our document here. These are all the ones about this document and then we scroll down and move into the next document. And this will actually keep those document headers as you go across so you always know which ones you're in. So that's all great. But now we have our future directions is our first column and I would want my future directions to be my last column. So let's fix that real quick. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna go to group and then all we can do is just drag this all the way down. If you don't have these dots over here, you might have something that says sort by and then in there, if it says alphabetize, switch it to saying manual and then these will appear here. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. So then you can have these are all set up here so that you can organize these the way you want. And now we've essentially recreated this table using a board view in here. And you can always move things around. You can also do lots of different things. Anything that you want to do in Notion, you can now use with these. The last thing I want to show you to do, especially if you have my organization template, is how to link these snippets to your articles within the organization template. So we're gonna go back to show all. I'm gonna scroll all the way over and I'm gonna add a property here. And what I'm gonna add is a relation property. And so I want to link it to my literature organization. So this is where it's related to. I'm also gonna show it on that. And so I want to show it as steroids and ion mobility snippets. And I'm gonna add this relation in. And so what this now allows me to do is for each one, I can then link it to a certain paper. And the one unfortunate thing about this is there's no way to automatically link it in. So for example, if all of this one was linked to this paper in the template, you can see, and I'm just gonna make this easier on myself, move this over. So I can link these to different papers, but I have to keep doing it. So for each one, I'd have to link it in. So this part would take a little bit of time if you wanna have all of this correctly linked in, but you can see like this is it's just linking them to that. So now let's go over there and see what it looks like from the literature organization side. So I'm gonna jump back to just my main page. So you can now see that that page is right here so I can easily access it. And I'm instead gonna to go to my literature organization. And you can see that you can't see that column in here. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna to go to properties, and then I'm going to toggle on the steroids and eye mobility property. And when I click out of it, I can now see all of these snippets that were included in that. So this is also really nice because you can actually search these snippets. So if I searched ion source, you can see that this is the only one staying up because this has this ion source in the snippet. So this net would now allow you to make your papers a little bit more searchable, but then you can also have the ability to, if I go back to just the snippet, this one, if I wanted to create another board where I'm doing my lit review, I can actually organize out my lit review using these snippets as well. So, 
I hope this helps you know how to now integrate in your lateral and your notion together to have an even more powerful way to quickly analyze and then organize your literature. Again, if you want to just check out this literature organization template, click or tap this video up above. Or if you want to learn more about lateral, click or tap the video down below. If you liked this video, please click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to this channel for even more tutorials on how to organize your research articles. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.